Don't ever hold yourself up to those expectations of what people put on social media. Not sure what you wanted, but I'm what you need. I know my heart just started, but I hit a peak, yeah. What time we do the plans? Hello you guys, what is up? So for today's video, it's gonna be like a vlog, but it's still gonna have like a theme. I'm gonna be showing you guys a day in the life of quote unquote that girl. So if you guys don't know like the trend that's going around on TikTok, I'll put like a whole bunch of videos here, but it's basically like you're working out, you're eating healthy, you're starting your morning off right, you may be doing some meditation, some yoga, like whatever. Like to me, it's whatever makes you feel best in your own skin and whatever makes you feel good is being that girl. You know what I mean? On TikTok, they show it like in a specific way, like you're working out and doing all that shit. You being that girl is gonna look different for everyone. For you, it may be something completely different than someone else. As long as it makes you feel happy and amazing and great in your own skin and makes you feel confident. So for me, I'm gonna show you guys a day in the life of what that girl means to me. And yeah, honestly, this is gonna be real. I'm not gonna do anything specifically for the video. This is just kind of literally gonna be what that girl means to me, what I do to make me happy, what I do to feel great in my skin, what I do to maintain my energy throughout the day um, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this vlog so I just actually got back from my morning walk that I do every single morning it's like a 4,000 step walk I don't know how far that is but it's just like around my block kind of thing it takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending how fast you walk so I do that every morning and I just got back from that I already did do just like a little bit of makeup I put on my tinted sunscreen with a little bit of concealer and blush so we got that on already so yeah and from here on now I'm just gonna take you guys along with me for the day and what that girl means to me also I just wanted to come on here and say really quickly that you guys are worth it you're worth every single thing in life do not sell yourself short your happiness has to come from within just know that you're worthy of anything you're worthy of happiness you're worthy of love you're worthy of anything that you want in life and don't forget that because so many people don't realize how much they're worth and how valuable they are and I see it literally every day so just a little reminder you can do anything set your mind to never sell yourself short Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> okay, so instead of making like a fruit shake or oatmeal, we're feeling like potatoes today. So I've shown this recipe in like a previous vlog, so I'm not gonna like show the recipe. But basically I'm just gonna make like hash browns and eat that with avocado and it's gonna be super good. It's still really healthy. So I'm gonna cut these up, plop them in the air fryer. And then while it's in the air fryer, we're gonna drink some water. My dad made this really cool water. It has like lemon, cucumbers, oranges, mint, a whole bunch of shit. So I feel like this is like kind of extra healthy. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of this. So I'm gonna try and finish. Oh, that's so good. Honestly, just like an easy tip if you guys have trouble drinking water, flavor it up. Like put cucumbers in it, put lemon, put lime, put mint even. It's really, really good. So yeah, if you guys have trouble drinking water throughout the day, if you think it's boring, just flavor it up and it tastes just like that much better and fresher. I've been trying recently to get like a huge ass gallon or jug, whatever this is, a liter of water in like a day in the morning, just to make sure that I'm hydrated for like the rest of the day. Mm. So good. Okay, but in all seriousness, this looks so cute and colorful. Spring colors. Okay, so here is my breakfast. I have hash browns and then I have potatoes. I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? I have hash browns, which are potatoes, and then I have avocado. These just go so well together. And then on the side, I just have a bowl of strawberries to get like a little fruit in. got some packages in the mail exciting haul coming next week yeah by the time you're watching this the haul will be out the following week so no wait oh my god no it's gonna be like the next video okay haul's coming soon stay tuned to know what these secret packages are Okay, anyways, it's currently 1.17 and I have a gym appointment at 2 o'clock. And my video is scheduled today to go up at 3. So by the time I finish my gym appointment, the video will be up. I accidentally like put in the wrong, not the wrong thumbnail, but something was wrong about the thumbnail. So before I go to the gym, I quickly need to fix that. And also I do need to link some products in the video description that I said I would link that I haven't put in the video description yet. So I'm doing that quickly before I go to the gym. Yep, yeah, so I'm gonna do that quickly right now and then I'll catch you guys later. 
Okay, perfect. I just finished what I needed to finish. Also, I just realized I hit 15,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. You guys do not know how much I literally appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos. And I just want to say I appreciate it so much. So thank you so much. Anyways, I'm going to get changed for the gym now because we got to go. Okay, guys, I'm leaving to the gym right now. I'm super late. I only have five minutes to spare. My sister, Madison, she took my gym shoes. I don't have any other shoes to wear so I had to I just brought her converse which barely fit me but I literally just don't have many shoes at all so when she just takes my shoes without asking it's really frustrating if you guys have siblings you know how frustrating it can be sometimes when they steal your shit without asking anyways I'm gonna try and keep my positive vibes going even though I was a little bit pissed off but I just wanted to be real with you guys it's not the end of the world no one's hurt gotta look at the positive things in every situation being that girl like i just wanted to touch on this again i just want to talk about social media in general don't ever hold yourself up to those expectations of what people put on social media probably heard this before obviously social media is a highlight reel normally they're not going to post anything bad like when you see those morning routines or day in the life on tiktoks of these girls like eating a healthy breakfast going to work out that probably does not happen every single day for them and you need to realize that no one is perfect and even though people portray themselves as perfect online it's it's not the case in real life so just like letting you guys know it's totally normal if you guys do not have the perfect routine if you're not doing what these girls are doing in their videos because that is their highlight reel who knows what they're doing in between those two second clips on tiktok you know what i'm saying so yeah i just want to say that since this is like a that girl themed video um i don't want it to come off as like oh like i'm so perfect because my day in my life is a that girl like no 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 one's perfect everyone has their ups and downs it's so normal the thing that i really want to preach is just listen to your body be happy do what makes you happy and that is what's going to make you that girl it's already 205 i should have been there five minutes ago sometimes when i think of my problems these small little things like me being five minutes late to the gym or 10 minutes late to the gym it's like when you put that into perspective it's it's not a problem whatsoever so i'm trying to catch myself when i think of something as a problem and i'm trying to catch myself and be like you know what that's a privilege like turning my problems into privileges you know what i mean being 10 minutes late to the gym it's like i get to go to the gym i have the ability to be late because i get to drive myself with my car that i own to the gym that really puts things into perspective it really gets you to focus on the positive side of things instead of saying oh my god I'm 10 minutes late to the gym oh my god like obviously that's like the first thing you're gonna think because that's just natural our human nature almost but just like that if you think of it in a different way you can flip it and turn your problems it problems into privileges <laughs> okay I'm at like a police station and I don't want to get caught I don't know if this is like legal to have being recording while I'm driving I have no idea a band, pretty thing with a suntan, make it bounce back when you do the dance. Caught my song, we should push the pick. See your things through a different lens. If it fast, only one chance. Never pants, how we do the plans. Right? I practice what I preach. They lie a put around my way, then get lost to see. Not sure what you wanted, but I'm what you need. I know my high just started, but I hit a peak. Yeah. Wave. Used to just wanna blend in. Big flex, how I do the syntax. Okay, guys, home from the gym. I'm going to have a protein shake right now and a bagel because it's really random. But when I got home, Joel was eating a bagel, and so I was like, oh my god, I really feel like a bagel. A nice blueberry bagel sounds really good to me right now. Tell so this one we're gonna have. <laughs> So good. Okay, so I got my bagel and I just wanted to say I'm gonna put this cream cheese on it. This is the Vita Life cream cheese, and I'm telling you, this brand of vegan shit is the best vegan shit you'll get. Like their cream cheese, their cheese, so good. One of like the most cleanest ingredients, and it really replicates like real cream cheese really well. So if you guys have like Vita Life, Vio Life. For the longest time I thought it was Vita Life. Never mind, Vio Life. So if you guys have this, like where you live, because it's probably like not worldwide. I'm not really sure where they sell this. But if they have this near where you live, try it out. It's so good. Their cheese is bomb. Also, my least favorite vegan, like dairy-free brand is definitely Dea. Just in case you guys were curious. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna eat now. Okay, guys, so I'm just about to hop in the shower. I'm thinking, since I just got my package in the mail, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna do the haul now instead of film it tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do. Ugh. 
Okay, guys, I just got out of the shower and I was gonna do the haul, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do it just because it is a bathing suit haul. So I definitely wanted to self tan before. So I'm gonna self tan tonight so then I can do it tomorrow because I totally forgot that I wanted to do that and then I was like, oh shit. So we're gonna wait till tomorrow. Also, it's already five o'clock and I haven't had any sort of coffee or anything yet. So I think I'm gonna go make like a coffee just for fun. Like I don't need it at this time. Like I'm honestly fine with my energy right now because working out kind of did wake me up but it would just be fun to make one and drink something i do need to get a little bit of like editing work 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 like not my youtube channel but like work done today so i'm gonna finish that off send it over and then that's pretty much all i have to do for today and then i think i'm just gonna like tidy my room because it really needs to be tidied so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now let's go and be somewhat productive ew that's probably disgusting. I'm so sorry. My sister literally can't stand bare feet. Like, she quakes. So I'm sorry if any of you got a little bit triggered by that. Also, I literally just got a comment from Charity Hope. Girl, I love you. Coming out on my videos. Um, She commented and she was like, I want to see more of your cat. And I'm like, girl, you didn't have to ask. Please, I will show you more of my cat. Oh my god. Does anyone else have a really, like, weird animal voice? Like, mine, like, goes 10 pitches higher than my normal voice. I'm like, ah! Like, that's just, like, how I react when I see animals. Like, I just can't help my voice. Anyways. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Just give you guys a hug. You want to give him a hug? Oh, stretch. Hey you guys, I'm literally sitting on my front porch right now because it is pouring rain outside right now and I kind of love it so much. It's so loud, it's kind of windy and it's not really that cold at all. Like I'm wearing sweatpants and a hoodie and I'm completely a great temperature and it's just so calming right now. Like this weather is just very calming when it's pouring rain like this and like it's kind of like windy. Honestly calming, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do a meditation out here and I'm not even gonna have to listen to any because usually like I put a soundscape in the back background but i'm not even gonna have to put a soundscape in the background because it's literally like already like raining so there's like white noise already i do not mind this weather once in a while it's ha it has been nice for the past like week so i don't mind how it's like kind of stormy and raining it's honestly very calming and peaceful even though we get so much rain here where i live it can get like exhausting sometimes but on days like this i really do appreciate it i'm just gonna get comfy here get my back up straight i think i'm just gonna meditate for like 10 minutes just to clear my mind okay Let's go. Okay, meditation session over. Good timing because there's this guy working and he just turned on this super loud ass machine. So thankfully that didn't go on during my meditation or else I would have shit bricks. Okay, you guys, so I got my coffee. It's literally six o'clock, but I'm just gonna finish off my work for the, the day. I have to submit something real quick. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna have some dinner. Okay, you guys, so I just finished eating dinner. I had noodles, as you saw. I honestly just wasn't feeling like cooking today. I was just not in the mood, probably because it's just like such a rainy day and it's like cozy and like noodles just like felt right, you know what I'm saying? It felt vibey because it was warm since it's like raining outside. Um, So that was the move for tonight. Honestly, even though I ate noodles, I'm still that girl, okay? If you eat noodles, if you eat McDonald's, if you eat salad, you can still be that girl. If you're happy with it, then good for you. Okay, we're all winning. And now it is currently eight o'clock. So we are done for the night. I'm going to watch some YouTube or Netflix right now. I am currently watching The Vampire Diaries. I started it like a few months ago and then I watched like half of season one and then I just stopped watching it. I'm not sure why. I think I just kind of forgot about it. But now I'm like restarting it again. Not, I'm not restarting it, but I'm just like going from where I left off and I'm kind of hooked. I do go through these weird binges where I'll watch YouTube for a month straight and then I'll go back to Netflix for a month, YouTube, Netflix, but with that said, YouTube is always like my comfort thing to watch. I don't know, just my comfort thing to watch. Let me know down below like what you guys like to watch better, YouTube or Netflix, or YouTube or Netflix person, because I'm definitely a YouTube person. Although I do love like series on Netflix and I do love watching Netflix, YouTube is always gonna be my go-to. And honestly, I've always, like since I was younger, it's always, just like always been my go-to. So let me know down below what's yours. Cause I'm actually like genuinely curious because I know some people like don't watch YouTube at all and they 
only watch Netflix. Some people only watch YouTube and don't watch Netflix. But there will be like months actually that I only watch YouTube and I won't even like touch Netflix. So it's just really random. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have these little cookies for a little dessert. Whenever I eat dinner, I always crave something sweet afterwards. These are double chocolate brownie cookies. Oh my God, these look so good. They're dairy free and everything. These are them. Anyways, I'm going to probably watch some YouTube and then switch to Netflix. We'll see. But yeah, catch you guys up later. It honestly feels really good to stretch before bed because if you think about it when you go to bed you're sleeping for like eight plus hours well i hope you are you're literally laying down for so so long so i feel like it's kind of not important but like it feels good to really stretch before bed because you're kind of giving your body that one last stretch before you lay down for a long time um and i feel like you will wake up more elastic -y, not like tight maybe you know what i mean try it out but i've heard it's just really good to stretch every single day so i've been trying to like do some sort of movement every day whether it be stretching or just movement in general honestly if you guys are like intimidated by it just literally lay down a mat and do what feels good that's what i do i just lay down a mat and i just stretch the way my body wants to and i just listen to my body and whatever it wants to do i i let it lead the way i used to follow like stretching yoga videos which is great i do still do that sometimes but i really do prefer just in the morning sometimes at night is just to lay down my mat and just move the way that my body wants to move because i feel like i get the most cracks and tightness out of my body that way because I'm doing what my body feels like it needs to do. So my room is like kind of a mess right now. I literally don't ask me how it got to this point because I don't know. It's not really a mess actually. It's actually clean clothes everywhere because I didn't unload my laundry bin <laughs> from last week. So I need to do that. And I just like unpacked my haul that I need to do. So it's laying on my bed. I need to put that somewhere for tomorrow. Ah, I need to clean up. Okay, I think I'm gonna clean up before I go to bed. So I'll do a quick little montage right now of me cleaning my room. Yeah, let's get her done real quick. See, even Hershey's enjoying my yoga mat. Oh my goodness. So while I'm cleaning, I'm going to put on Vampire Diaries. I'm just going to set it up on my dresser there so that it's a more enjoyable process. I live in Canada and they took Vampire Diaries off of Canadian Netflix. How rude. So I'm using this Google Chrome extension called Ola and it's basically like changes your VPN so that you can watch American Netflix. So can't stop me. Anyways, let's get cleaning. By the way, this is all clean clothes. So nothing nothing is really dirty, to be honest. Ooh, you're doing stretches. Oh, she's doing stretches on my mat. Oh my God, wait, look. Oh, you're doing stretches. What do you think you lost to see? Not sure what you wanted, but I'm what you need. I know my heart just started, but I hit a peak, yeah. Okay guys, so it is currently 10.30, literally past my bedtime, so I should go to bed now. But I just wanted to close out the video and say thank you guys so much for watching. Also, I've been using my cellar water to take my makeup off and then coconut oil as like a cleansing balm. Just because I usually use the CeraVe face wash, but since I have been like breaking out with my eczema, the CeraVe one kind of stings like my eczema. So using coconut oil is so, so gentle and it actually moisturizes it, anything. So it has been really good to me so far and it actually takes off makeup really well. So if you guys have super sensitive of skin and are struggling to find a makeup remover or even really dry skin try using coconut oil literally just like take it and put it over your face and it dissolves your makeup like really well so try it out if you're trying to if you're struggling to find like a very gentle cleanser or way to remove your makeup and it does really work so there's a little tip anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one peace out setting positive vibes your way as always I practice what I preach They lie your put around my way Then get lost to see Not sure what you wanted But I'm what you need I know my heart just started But I hit a peak, yeah Wave Used to just wanna blend in Big flex How I do the syntax Now that I got the attention On the rig You make it really hard I just wanna be friends Treat the night like a vignette For what's coming next Hard to see the end